Like a camera shy celebrity waiting to be discovered, these jelly like eggs hold the key to the future for a small animal in danger of disappearing. These are an egg mass of a female streamside salamander, and these are fairly late stage embryos getting ready to hatch. Dr. Brian Miller of MTSU and some of his biology students are doing a population survey leaving few stones unturned in their quest to show the world what they consider a true rock star, hoping to prove that the streamside salamander is alive and well, at least in one part of our state. This was a section that we searched last week and found a number of egg masses, so really all we're looking for today here is any new egg masses that were laid since last week. It's a job, a passion, that's not for someone seeking fame and fortune. The first time we were out here, I think we walked in circles for about eight miles. Um, it, was, it was a long time. Uh, flipping rocks, bending over the whole time. It's wet, it's cold. So having, sticking your hands in cold water and flipping rocks isn't as sexy as one would try to make it. But important nonetheless. While this may look like a lot of eggs, Biologists like Dr. Miller know that the streamside salamander faces an uncertain future from encroaching development, predators, and weather extremes. That's why it's especially important to track their fate in areas where they are protected, such as here at Flat Rock Cedar Glades and Barrens, a state natural area. What a treat to be out in the dead of winter thinking that these systems are going to be void of life when suddenly you flip over a rock and it's covered with these black eggs. I mean, this is. Uh, the telltale sign of this specific salamander and one of only two species in the area that may be laying eggs under rocks this time of year. What's so intriguing about the life of the streamside salamander is that it lives on both land and in the water. From spring until fall, it's found underground in small crayfish burrows and other holes. Come winter, though, it travels to the water where it breeds on the underside of rocks, usually in small seasonal streams with limestone beds, much like what you would find in cedar glades like this one. After two to three weeks, the embryos push through the jelly coating surrounding them and enter the water, looking like tadpoles with very small legs. Eventually, they'll grow to this size. This is a female streamside salamander. Just recently deposited a clutch of eggs on the under surface of the rock in this little stream here in the glade. It's beautiful in its own way, brownish gray to black with many small speckles highlighting a stocky body with small head. This is an animal that prefers to avoid attention for all of the 30 or so years it lives. Because amphibians are so secretive, um, you know, we, we don't appreciate them as much as other, like a bird, for instance. Uh, so you can walk around the state, which is a center for diversity in the United States, for amphibians and not really even know that they're there. While the rest of us go about our stress-packed days with little or no thought about the small, almost invisible creatures in the animal kingdom, it's just this sort of expedition that tells us how important those creatures are. Getting information on the status of streamside salamanders on these state lands is important, you know, not just for the knowledge of the people that are managing these areas to try to do the best things to, to fit healthy populations of streamside salamanders into management of the overall system, but it also provides information that the Fish and Wildlife Service is going to need to respond to the petition to list the species and make a determination as to whether or not we should protect it under the Endangered Species Act. From above, it's easy to see the rugged landscape in which the streamside salamander lives. This rocky home is challenging to most, but uniquely suited to one of the animal kingdom's most interesting resonance. It's enough to open the eyes of a budding biologist. When you get out here and you, you see all these clutches and all these eggs and all these salamanders, and you're like, whoa, this is, this is something completely new. <laughs> and you look at it, and it's, it's a, it's an experience I can really appreciate, for sure. One we all should hope stays that way forever. I'm Alan Griggs on the Wild Side. <laughs>